This is Chad from Dark Monk. In this video, I'm going to tell you about our new wicking solution, and if you'd like to stick around for it, the three-year journey about how we got here. So the thing we most want to share with you is our new pure Kevlar wicking line. Now, we're calling it pure because it is 100% pure DuPont Kevlar. There are no filler materials, there are no other aramids mixed in with it, there's no fiberglass, and even the weft strand, the back and forth strand, is 100% DuPont Kevlar. The other thing we did in working with this mill is we had them design this as a ring spun yarn versus a dreft spun yarn. Translates to a yarn that is denser and the fibers themselves are more densely packed, which is going to, or has, lessened the heat absorption rate so it deteriorates much uh, slower when it's exposed to heat, as well as making a stronger abrasion resistance. We are currently in the process of building up our inventory for this new pure wicking. The challenge is each individual size, the minimum order quantity is very big and cost a lot of money. Yes. And for a small tiny company like ourselves, that is challenging. So we're only able to offer certain sizes and even have ourselves certain sizes right now. Uh, but as time goes by, we're continuing to build that inventory and we'll be able to offer it more and more of the different sizes. The goal, of course, is to convert all of our own products over, which we've already started, as well as be able to offer it by the foot, by the roll, and to do wholesale level discounts so that other makers out there can get really good quality wicking uh, for a really good price. The rest of the video is going to be me sharing a little bit of the story about how we got here and a little bit about what's been happening in the aramid fiber world in the last three years. If you came to hear about the new Pure Kevlar line, the Pure Wicking, uh, thanks for watching. Have a great time spinning. Email us if you've got any questions or we can help in any way. Uh, and for those that want to stick around, let's start the next part of the story. So this story begins probably in the mid to late 2020 time frame. I have been working with the main manufacturer of aramid fiber tapes and ropes and sleeving that most crafters used in the world for going on I think 17 years at that time. Had a great relationship with them, worked with them forever, and suddenly they just started going dark. They started ghosting everyone. No one knew what was going on, they didn't return calls, all of a sudden orders we had in with them were unknown of when we were going to get the raw material product back. This was terrifying. It was a fire prop manufacturer, our main raw material, all of a sudden we don't know when we're going to get it. So I dove headfirst, very deep, into the science and manufacturing of aramid fibers, these type of products. Come to find out there was really one main manufacturer in the world. There was two kind of doing stuff in other parts of the world, maybe three for this specific like product here. I talked to, gosh, probably 14 different uh, mills, uh, people that you know, people that make products like this to see if they would make something. I found a few that would, but the minimum order quantity was a pallet of one size, and we had to know exactly the specs, everything that we wanted, which I didn't. Uh, we were gonna need to work with somebody at least to get it kind of dialed in. The time frames even then were six to nine months. Like if I ordered a pallet, it would take nine months to get it. I went so far even to buy one of the machines, one of the weaving machines. It's like a $45,000 machine. I got it at a, at a auction, so I got it at a pretty good price. Um, but still, it's probably the most expensive machine I own, as a, totally as a nuclear option. If we could not find a mill that would make this for us, and I couldn't at the time, I was prepared to make it ourselves. And that's terrifying, and I'm very happy I didn't have to go that route. Um, but the machine's still sitting in the other room, and I now just listed it for sale. So if you know anybody that needs a you know, weaving machine, call me. As I was looking for yarn at the time to go on this machine, I found a, another mill that mainly focused on yarn, but had a few of this same machine uh, sitting there, and they made some products. Talked to them a lot. We worked with them, gosh, nine months, almost a year, as we were working with many other mills, to develop the product we have today. And that was to go completely to the 100% pure DuPont Kevlar, get the weft strand the way we wanted it, um, to really improve the durability of the product. And it took a lot. We went back and forth quite a few times. Um, but now we do have it, and I'm very excited about that. The main U.S. manufacturer uh, got sold a year into it. Uh, after you know, things had started getting dark because their business was just uh, going down terribly. 
the new company that bought them ran them kind of poorly for probably about a year. Same kind of everything was in the dark. They only recently, I think it was November uh, 2022, just shut the plant down and moved the entire plant, one of the other facilities. Uh, that takes months. They're still not back up and online yet. But hopefully when they get up and online, between what we have here today and if for some reason something bad happens, we will now have two reliable hopefully, sources in the world for very good quality wicking. There's a lot more details in that story, and if you guys ever want really boring uh, party dinner table conversation about dress spun, ring spun, all the weird aspects of manufacturing these products, invite me to your dinner party. Um, but uh, after 10 minutes, no one may want to sit beside me, and I understand. That's okay. So yeah, that's kind of the long and the short. Thanks for sticking around for all that. And if you do have any questions or if anything we can help with, always email us. Nicole is amazing on email. I'm, I'm right there with her. If you got any more technical questions that you need to ask. And yeah, have a great time spinning, everyone. See you later.